I'm Andrew and I'm the Chief Operating Officer at We Are VR. We Are VR is a content discovery platform, part VR marketplace, um, part app store. We, we basically link out to a lot of cool VR apps. We also distribute them ourselves and host a lot of cool content action. Okay, so I saw a game uh, in, when you, in, in the headset that you gave me, the uh, uh, with an airplane and shooting and all that. That's that's one thing that you guys have. So in that's it. a game that uh, a company called Dubit made, Dubit mm -hmm. Limited. Uh, it's called Space Rusts, and it's hosted on it's, it's on VR VR. A guy called Julius Horsehouse, who's a Dutch Dutch guy, makes fractals. Mm -hmm. We're showing some of his fractals today because they work really nicely on this headset. Which is the other thing that we're showing today is the Ideal Lens headset, headset, which is what this is. Which uh, is, uh, I, I I heard there's a phone in it. No, there's no phone in it. It's, there's it's, no okay. It's, it's, so it looks it's nicer a, than the yeah, phone. Yeah, it's a computer built inside it. Okay. You don't need to put a phone in it. That's what makes it unique. It's an all-in-one mm -hmm. VR headset. So I'll, I'll explain a bit. Uh, Ideal Lens makes this makes this all-in-one headset, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and we've partnered with us, who are We Are VR, mm -hmm. um, to provide content to to get with developers so we're working quite closely to port content across onto this new headset mm -hmm. um, what's actually on the headset right now is, is some of the things we managed to get across but it's we're currently getting these headsets out to developers to get as much content as we can on there mm -hmm. um, and yeah that's what we're doing right now so at the moment we, we've recently formed a partnership with idea lens to, to mm -hmm. push forward content and uh, the plans are to get as many development kits out there in mm -hmm. a while and then start working on our consumer version and getting the consumer version out there, which will be coming out shortly. It's almost there. It's, it's going to be similar to this that we're showing off today. Um, but yeah, the plan right now is basically just to, to make people aware of Idea Lens and, and what a cool headset it is, basically. Yeah, it's surprisingly uh, uh, more immersive than I was expecting, uh, probably because I was misinformed or I heard someone say something about a phone. Someone, so. I think someone asked um, if there was a mobile phone in it because mm -hmm. it, it's because there's no wires. Like, it's, yeah. When you see people look around, you like you think there's either a mobile headset in it or it's connected to a computer somehow, but it's not the computer is inside it. Yeah, and the, the, uh, it's all the resolution and the field of view is much bigger yeah, than I was thinking it would be. 120 degree field of view and uh, 1200 by 1080 per eye, so same resolution as your Oculus and HTC Vive. Uh, yeah, and, uh, it actually looks very com comparable to the Oculus. Yeah, it, it is. And, and um, what's interesting is obviously it's quite similar to a Gear VR, but it doesn't have the phone in there. Mm -hmm. But it's got the computer system, um, a Samsung processor in there that is optimized for VR. So it yeah, makes it more looks efficient. nicer than the Gear VR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feather light. It's, it's 295 grams. Uh, so it's ridiculously light for what's in there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very comfortable and it has that nice, uh, the, the nice brace on the back so of the head. The brace on the back is the battery. Um, really? Oh, it's that's the, smart. It's the only headset that I've seen uh, that has the battery in the back to counterbalance the weight. A lot of these headsets got everything at the front, and you kind of feel a little yeah. bit weighed down. Yeah. So, what, what's in that? That's processing this stuff. I mean, obviously, the, there's going to be some limitations with it, but I mean, this it seemed at least comparable to the graphic power I was seeing in the Hololens. Right. Um, and this is, you know, not yeah. a lot of space there to put all that stuff in. No, you're right. Well, it's, it's a it's a Samsung processor in there. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we were, we're, we've used a variety of different ones, but currently it's a Samsung. Um, just, just in terms of efficiency with the with the heat and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's what's in there. Um, the main the main things to note are the wide field of view, 120 mm -hmm. degrees. Um, yeah. The weight being super light, 225 grams. Um, and the fact it's Android based, so it's quite good because there's a lot of card. You know, the only mobile stuff that's out there really. You know, you're talking mainly Android cardboard games and Gear VR stuff. The fact it's so similar to that is so easy to get the content across. So we're working with a lot of developers to do that right now. So you can, so you can just do cardboard stuff on that headset as well. It needs to be, off, it needs to use our SDK. But okay. um, we, the game that you tried, the Space Rusters one, where you're looking around, killing spaceships, yeah, uh, protecting cows. That one took two to three hours to port across using SDK. It's very similar. So okay, so it's it, it, migrating into the platform is pretty pretty, pretty simple. <coughs> yeah, we we excuse me, we found it really easy. So Ideal Lens is doing dev kits right now. Um, or, well, if, if someone wanted to get one or try it out or whatever, uh, yeah. are, uh, what's the process for that? How much does it cost? What are we looking forward to in the future? We haven't quite set, set a price right now. We're just opening it up to, to developers because what we're doing is getting a lot of the developers are on We Are VR to use it. So <laughs> we're obviously giving those out for free. We're, we're incentivizing people to, to test because they need to test that. We can send them the SDK, but they need to test it. So mm -hmm. we're giving those out for free right now. But if you want to sign up, you can go to the Idea Lens Twitter page, um, okay. Idea Lens, and there's a sign up link there. Cool.